Hi, I'm Nina McVeigh. And I'm Connie Fanders. And today we're going to be working with wool. It's lovely. It's such a beautiful fabric to work with. It is, and it's, um, it's a forgiving fabric to work with. adds a lot of dimension. Yes, it does. So as we prepare a piece for wool applique, I have drawn my shapes on a fusible web and fused that to my wool applique shapes. I am appliquing onto a piece of cotton, although this could also be wool, whatever you want to put that on. And what I also want you to notice is there is no stabilizer on the back of my fabric. Something nice for quilters, I don't have that added weight. When I do applique, I want to use an open embroidery foot. This is the number 20 open toe embroidery foot for visibility. Uh, this is the foot for a nine millimeter machine but I really like the five millimeter foot because I'm not going to be doing a stitch that's this wide. So this foot to me does a much better job at keeping that stitch nice and flat. Okay. So before I put this foot on my machine, I have threaded the machine with wool thread, a great thread to work with. I have a 100 top stitch needle in my machine, but I have to thread the eye of the needle and uh, I just have a great tip for you. And that is, if you don't have a needle threader on your machine, you may want to just pull out a length of regular thread, take the ends of that thread, put it through the eye of the needle, which creates a loop, put the wool thread through the loop, and pull it through the needle. That's a great tip. Yeah, it works really well. I'm ready to go, so let's start stitching. I've set the machine up with a blanket stitch, and I have also moved my needle to a far right position, so I'm lining the edge of my fabric up with the inside edge of the toe. I'm using a contrast color so that you can see that stitch. But it, at this point, it's not really different than regular applique. I do have a 50 weight thread in my bobbin, and you probably want to match that to your backing fabric, your background fabric. Mm -hmm. I see you have your needle in the down position and you always stop on the outside, so then it makes it easy to pivot. Yes, and what I'd also like you to notice is that when I stop, my foot automatically hovers and I can then do that little bit of turn that I need to keep this right on the edge of the fabric. I have set that uh, blanket stitch maybe a little bit narrower than, than one might think. Um, I, in my experience, I don't want the sh thread to be everything on the applique. Um, it doesn't need to be real wide, so I have just chosen kind of a medium width, which will make turning and, um, cur on curves or even on your points a little bit easier. So when I'm finished, I'm going to pull this out of my machine, cut my threads, leaving some length, Mm -hmm. and just pull my top thread to the back and tie it off to finish. Well, that gives it a very nice closure to that. So you can see that appliquing mm -hmm. with wool is really no different than appliquing with other fabrics. It's just that wool adds that rich, wonderful texture. Yeah, a very warm feeling. It is. <laughs> For more tips with working with wool, visit your local Bernina dealer today.